so uh, things didn't go as planned now. and then go explore this, the castle Belvedere but when I arrived to where you leave your luggage they did not accept credit cards so I went to a shop and bought a couple of drinks and then I went to Starbucks so I got a little euros and when I returned back there were zero lockers available and there is no way I'm carrying this big backpack for like five hours in the city of Vienna. Fortunately, I am interrail and can go any way and anywhere I really want. So I am taking an audio train and um, I'm not going directly to Maribor. I'm going to have change trains in Graz and in somewhere along the border uh, but I'm going to arrive two hours earlier than I first expected Welcome to sunny Maribor I just arrived at this train now let's go see what Maribor has to offer This actually feels so much better than my previous hotel in Vienna. Mm, this hotel, it's not falling apart. At least by the looks of it. I mean, it's not too shabby. So overall, think this is going to be much better than before. Now let's get out and get something to eat because I am starving. So I am going to eat at this restaurant now. Hashtag just want to eat now, don't care what I eat. Hashtag recommended by Google. They had really great coffee. I took a cold brew coffee on a hot day like this. So I wasn't able to climb up the stairs, it was locked and I was not allowed to take any photos inside. It, it was very clear signs of that, so uh, that was disappointing. But at least I found uh, this statue of Anton Martin Schlomsek, who apparently was some kind of... Uh, I bought. And this is the famous Judgment Tower of uh, Maribor and it has mainly been used as a defense tower and I think it was built in like the 13th century or 14th century or something like that. But anyway, my plan was actually to find a place and sit along the river here and just look and relax. But uh, as you see, it's, it is some kind of uh, road work, I think, going on. So it's a lot of noise. It's quite hot outside and I can start to feel a bit of a headache and a bit of a tiredness coming in. So and also a little bit of brain fog so I think I need to maybe find a shady spot in a restaurant and just order something to eat and drink and just fuel up with some energy because I feel that this heat is actually now 
causing some eye symptoms for me. But let's find something to eat and drink and then my plan is to continue up to the Maribor Castle. That, and like I have understood it's not really a castle, it's more like a old mansion or estate or something like that, but it should be beautiful. I am now on my way to the uh, Maribor to Opatija in Croatia. I think that is how it is pronounced. But the question is, will I go with this train? to Ljubljana where we change trains and oh my god is Slovenia a beautiful country just look at the view Hey, I made it to Rijeka with the bus, but um, apparently um, they dropped me off at the wrong place. I'm currently at the train station, and not the bus station. It's a bit far away, but uh, I've got five hours to find the... to get the, the ferry. It's the morning after I checked in here at... Uh, the bed and breakfast and uh, I just think that I got a massive headache and fatigue coming on at me right now so I, I will probably just stay at this bed and breakfast for a couple of hours and hopefully I will be able to do something fun after lunch but I will 
go out and explore the, the town afterwards if I have the energy to it. But right now, let's just take care of this headache and uh, fatigue because it is, I think it's a really difficult one coming on right now. I still have a lot of symptoms and a lot of headaches, so I think my intracranial pressure is high today and my energy levels are so low. So I decided to go to a beach. There's a beach behind uh, behind here actually and uh, I think that is it what my energy levels can handle now so I'm going to this beach probably going to spend a couple of hours here read a book and just take a bath and relax but unexperienced me did not change to uh, my bathing clothing at the bed and breakfast so I, first I need to find somewhere that I actually can change so this is the best place I found and the, the sun is actually shining now so I think I'm going to head down to the uh, sea straight away oh that was super nice and refreshing I felt like I really that and uh, uh, it's a stony beach, but uh, it's nice weather, not too warm, a little bit of sun. I've got my book here if I want to want to read and just enjoying the weather instead of being too physically active because that is, I think that's off the table for today. So I had a lovely time at the beach and uh, it was super nice at the beach and uh, I didn't have any lunch because I felt so stopped from the breakfast uh, and um, I just came back from dinner and uh, I'm still feeling down. I'm feeling like uh, I'm a bit nauseous and that I am about to throw up. And I'm also feeling some kind of dizziness, and that's all signs for me that I have high intracranial pressure. And um, you know, it's not the same feeling as when you're about to really go sick with a fever. It's something else, but it's very difficult to explain. But I can feel that it is something else. Unfortunately, this is a part of uh, my illness. And this is the reason why I chose to stay in a private bedroom because when I'm feeling down and nauseous and uh, just not well, I just do, do not want to share my bedroom with someone else, especially with someone else that I do not know. And another reason why I chose to stay in uh, a private bedroom during my interrail trip is uh, because a regular and a good night's sleep is so, so important for me. And um, I have trouble sleeping if I am sleeping in the same room as with someone that I do not know since before. Whoever planted those trees had a really bad day at work, I think. So I am here at the bus station here in Novalia and I'm about to go to Split and I stayed at uh, Villa Pavcic here in Novalia and it's a family owned bed and breakfast and they had a great restaurant, great rooms and if you ever plan to, to stay a couple of days in Novalia that's the place to stay in I think. Anyway, it's about an hour until my bus leaves so I have to wait here and here's a mountain range and uh, those mountains are on the mainland and not on the island that I am currently at and uh, those mountains are called the Dinarids, I think it is and actually you can see Mount Guelebit from this island which is the highest mountain in uh, Croatia but I don't think you can see it now in this picture but it should be somewhere I'm just waiting for this bus
Yeah, and Mount Willoughby, the highest mountain in Croatia, should be somewhere here. You can actually see it from uh, this island, but not in this picture. But it should be somewhere like over there, I think, maybe over or over there. So maybe I will see it from the bus. But anyway, it is a beautiful day and. Uh, I really love Croatia, I can say that.